Say yes to new beginnings. Yes. Say yes to new standards of excellence. Yes. Say yes to engage in reportage with a difference. Yes. Introducing Yes International Magazine. What makes a good actor? Ability to imbibe, ability to, inter to interpret, ability to express yourself in the way in a way that is required of maybe the script, maybe the situation, and and uh, keen in into the director's vision. Now, of all your roles, for me, the most fecund has been uh, your role in uh, mainframes. Um, Holy cool. Why, why, why have you not done any other major, you know, role, you know, that will give you that push like uh, Holy cool did? I've done things, and I still, I'm still doing things. I'm keep, I still, I, I keep doing things. There are roles, and there are roles, and. Uh, uh, an actor is as good as his last last bit. Um, I can't probably reel out things now, but uh, I, I've, I've, I've done some things. Uh, there are there are roles that have uh, taken me somewhere, taken me there, and all that. And I am still doing it. I just came back from the location of the movie, and uh, it's a big movie. So I'm going to keep that. It's a big movie, and I'm going to stick. Yeah, no. And I and there's another big one. Okay. very big one yeah. coming up uh which we are preparing for and uh, that is it now I, I, at some point i mean when i knew you i mean that was when i knew you, when i really uh when, when i got to know you when you were with uh, mainframe uh, productions why did you leave mainframe just say it, it's a normal process of a man moving on and okay. doing things it was time to leave and so i left and uh it's uh it's just like that's just like now at my frame you worked uh, very closely with uh, the great uh, Tunde Kelani TK. What would you say was the greatest lesson that you learned from him? Professionalism. Tunde Kelani is a professional to the core. He, he, he got trained properly, and that is what, what has sustained him till now. He's simply one of the best this country has ever produced, and uh, that professionalism is one. Humility is another. As as a uh, professional as as highly acclaimed as he is, is one of the most humble people you can ever come across. Even on the job, he's one of the most humble people you can ever come across. Then, thirdly, the ability to impact, he impacts knowledge. And I must confess, I took a lot. I took a lot from him. He's he's he's, he's a he's a genuinely good man. And yeah, he, I like that genuinely. one other thing is is deep. Is very very deep, particularly within in terms of our culture our tradition is very what do you still miss about mainframe your good old days at mainframe at the creative atmosphere uh my colleagues the rapport and then the the energy that comes with every production there's a lot of energy that comes with it and it is not done until the director says rap and i mean rap as in rap it's a lot of energy that comes with it and then okay you know yes that's it okay uh, what would you say makes you different from other event uh, compared my sense of humor is different let me see, let me i'm uh, well let me blow my trumpet if, if if i try to i'm very sensitive to people's feelings when i get a brief to handle an event i try to ask the caliber of the audience then i put them into segments i also do that once i get there i am able to i'm able to 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 put the audience in segments i'm able to read and feel what they 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 will want or not but also from the moment I'm, i get a brief even if it's a three month four months if it's in three months four months in advance it becomes part of my consciousness it becomes part yeah. of my consciousness and i build up to it i build up to it most times it's, if not all the times i don't go to events with uh with uh, a fixated mindset i take it as it comes i take it as it comes uh, i've seen and and i love music it helped me a lot whether the invo event involves music or not, when I know it does not involve music, I have sighted 
myself up with music before it. But when it involves music, it tells me I blend and uh, but most importantly, I'm very conscious of the sensitivity of the audience. I hate to find anybody cringe about something they hear. And this happens a lot. Out of exuberance, out of the fact that I want to, you want to crack jokes and all that, you say things that does not sit well with some people. And when I, when I find myself in such audiences, I cringe. So I don't ever want to do it to people. Okay. I don't know. So that the people listening to you won't also cringe. As an event host, as an event compare, as an actor and stuff, what do you normally consider before accepting any brief? Be it to anchor an event or to take part in a film production or to be a part of anything that you do. What are the things that you normally consider or look out for? What is the motive behind it? There must be a reason for fixing the event. And uh, of course, uh, who is behind it? Whether it's a production, whether it's an event, who is behind it? You don't want, I don't want to go into a place that will put me into trouble. I don't want to get into a production that will mess up my image. A quick example, I did this years and years ago, so many years ago. I walked into a store at Peckham in London and the couple was working out. And what they said was, Ah uh ah, -uh. you know that was what were you what how did you find yourself in a particular production that was a, a production with a title there? They had seen it, but they are, they were seeing me for the first time as I was walking into that store. And I was wondering which which production was this, which was this. Then I walked in and they said, Yeah, no, no, I'm being that's the thing. Because this uh, the video was on the shelf. And I went there. There, I saw my big head on the label of that video. I was portrayed as the main actor there. Then all of a sudden, I remembered that, wow, what did I do? Before leaving Nigeria, some months or so before then, one of the producers came. I hey, mommy, please, can you, please kindly help us. I just want you to be, please, just, just, please, just show your face and blah, 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 blah. I was reluctant, but one way or the other, I was almost, it was a lot of I'm talking about so many years ago, and I won't yeah. make that one again. He said, no, please, just just that. You, you just play doctor, or we just want you in that one scene, and not just one scene. Just talk to a patient, and that. Foolishly, I agreed, and I did that. This scene was less than two minutes, and I thought it was just a worker pass kind of thing, but I was saying I was helping the young producer, only to be portrayed as the main thing with that thing, with that my big head. But what made it was that it was a bad story, it was a bad production, it was horribly put together. I wasn't part of the production, I wasn't part of the post production. It was horribly put together, and I was a victim. I got the backlash, and that taught me a lesson. That's why I've always I've been so conscious of some of the things I get into. Be it uh, production, be it edit, I try to be conscious. So I, I okay. ask questions. I ask questions. And when I'm convinced, <laughs> I take it. Money at times can be very tempting, but it can get you into trouble if you're not careful. But I've been lucky. I've been lucky. Over the years, I've been lucky. With events, I've been very, very lucky. With productions, I've been lucky.